All right, what's going on, everyone? My name is Ripple, and I'm back with another deck profile today. So the format today is going to be a little bit different. This is going to be a very quick profile. I'm not going to be doing any B-rolls or nothing, so we're just going to go right into it. So today I'm going to be showing off my version of Trap Orcus. So I'm going to explain the... Well, I'll show you the cards, and then I'm going to explain it to you. So here, first of all, we're playing Triple uh, Gears to the Orcus Mech Knight. This is your starter. This is the only starter in the deck, so we have to play three of, and it's our best one. Um, two Orcus Nightmare. So that's a little different from other builds because most builds play three. Now, the reason why I don't play three is because I think three is a brick. You don't want to open up a Nightmare in this particular build, and I'll explain why. And uh, yeah, two is just enough, right? If you uh, manage your resources properly, that should be enough. Two Orcus Symbol Skeleton. Uh, pretty standard. Two world wands, and then oops, sorry, and then the one orcus brass bombard. So, the pretty, it's a pretty standard lineup. The only thing is that I have double orcus nine right here. Now, uh, honorary orcus card, we have one gizmak orochi, and for the other monsters in the deck, the last three we have three of the dangers. Now, in most traditional builds, we play you know three dangers to extend right to combo off, but. I'm actually using the extenders as a way to draw into the deck more instead of as an extenders and I'll explain why so you'll see but those are the monsters in the deck next up I am playing uh, three foolish burial goods now if you combine this with Orcus Mech Knight um, this uh, allows us to have basically six copies of our starter which is the whole point of this deck the point of this deck is to go first and set up our traps right so we play three foolish burial goods and two Orcus Crescendos. Now what we do with this is that um, we activate Foolish Barrel Goods, we send the Orcus Crescendo turn one in order to search out our Orcus Gear Suit if we don't have it already, right? So this makes the deck really consistent. And uh, basically, yeah, we have three copies and we also have Metal Force Fusion. Now, this is great because if we already have the Gear Suit in our hand, we can send this instead to draw one. Or even if we draw this, um, because we're running dangers and we want our hand to deplete and not have any cards in the hand This is always going to be live for us to use. So it's not really a brick same with this even if we have to discard this we can always just uh, Banish it. So that's why we played um, those copies of those cards I'm playing triple allure of darkness now the whole point like I said is to draw into the deck and basically see our traps and see our starters turn one. So this makes the deck really consistent because we're playing all darks and we don't mind banishing a danger. We don't mind banishing an extra um, Orcus because we can just, uh, what do you call it? We can bring it back with uh, Galatea. So it really doesn't matter. And this is not a hard once per turn. So, you know, you can draw a lot of times in the turn. Next up, we're playing double Orcus return. I used to play this on one, but I think two is good just for the grind game. Turn one. You're not, well, first of all, I am not playing the, the Babel card because that's not the point of the deck. The point of the deck is, again, it's to dig deep. So basically, what we're trying to do, turn one, is to set up a crescendo. And if we already have a crescendo or if we don't need to, we can just search this off on turn one with Galatea and draw deeper into the deck. So this is why I run two. And then for the one else, we play one call by the grave, which is great. Uh, it can be used going first or second. Good against hand traps. And here we have Into the Void. Again, we're just trying to uh, dig in deeper, kind of like a pendulum deck. And uh, we don't care if we discard our cards, because uh, Orcus cards are good in the graveyard. And uh, so are our other spells. And here, one Foolish Burial, because it is in a graveyard deck. So this is basically an extender. Now for the traps. Okay, we're going with Triple Crackdown. Now, uh, this is... Uh, obviously, this is my build, so if I had access to other, you know, more funds, <laughs> I'd play more expensive cards, but... Uh, for now, we're just playing Crackdown. I would probably uh, switch this up for maybe uh, Ice Dragon's Prison or something. But this is good for now. So basically, why I chose this as a budget choice is because uh, it takes control of one of their monsters. So uh, that means they won't be able to link off with the material. Or you can basically save yourself a turn because you, you're not going to die because you have a monster. Or if you do take control of your monster, you could actually just use it as material for later on, on your own following turn. So... This is really good, and I believe it's not a hard one to return, so this is great. We could just have multiple copies. Next up, we have Triple Torrential Tribute. 
uh, with the fact that we have uh, I think Gear Suit to protect ourselves against card destruction, and that Orcus cards uh, do well in the graveyard. It doesn't matter if we destroy our cards, honestly. We just want to clear the opponent's field in order to just uh, you know control the game state. So this is great. And uh, with Crackdown, I said you could use Ice Dragon's Prison. Uh, Needle Ceiling is also an option. Next up, we're playing Triple Solemn Strike. Uh, this is just a great uh, generic trap. I like this over Judgment because it's only 1500 life points and uh, you don't really need Judgment all that much. Maybe if you're uh, siding in, you can put Judgment just in case they uh, put in back row removal, but strikes are good. And uh, again, I'm just using cards that I own, but I would play Triple Witch's Strikes if I could, if I had the other ones. So basically what this card does is that if your opponent negates the normal or special summon of a monster, or the activation of a card effect destroy a monster opponent controls and is in the hand. So basically, I like this card for going second because you know they go first, you go second, you set up your traps. On the following turn, you activate a trap, Phoenix Chain. Okay, you activate Phoenix Chain, there you, uh, you respawn, Chain Witch's Strike. Boom, you clear the board again. So this is why I really like this card. I would play three of them if I could, but I don't own them. So we're supplementing that with uh, Phoenix Chains. This could be anything, honestly, you guys. It's a trap build, but uh, these are the reasons why I picked it. Let's get into the extra deck. Starting off with Triple Orcus Galatea. Now, a lot of builds run two, right? Oh, and uh, Triple Dinker too. A lot of builds run two of each, but again, this is a heavy uh, Orcus build. Going for the grind game. All we're going to do is control the game state with our traps. So we need three as much as possible. You actually run through these really fast. So... That's why I bumped them up to three. Next up, we're playing one Divine Arsenal AA Zeus. Now the way you can you can summon this is that uh, if for some reason, and this is pretty common, that your Ding Gear Suit uh, um, lives for a turn, on your following turn, you can just uh, special summon this card by attacking with this before you uh, go into your Orcus effects and lock yourself into dark. So this does come up sometimes and uh, it's pretty handy to have. Next up is one Link Karibo. This is just for the uh, Mech Knight combo, sorry, Mech Knight Orcus combo, because uh, it generates a token, so you need a monster to do that. Zero Boros, this is a good game ender. Um, later in the in the ends of the game, you know, you're gonna be banishing cards off, uh, what do you call it, Orochi, and this becomes really, really big. So, this can end games and win some games for you. Next up is Boros or Dragon, same kind of thing. Notice that I'm trying to play all darks because Orcus locks you to darks. Here we have Barricade Blocker. Comes up sometimes, you know, you want to have a card to discard. And uh, yeah, it's just good. Mascarena. Honestly, you could probably cut this. Uh, I never really go into this card. This can be replaced with something else because, again, turn one, we're really just going to be ending off on uh, Galatea. But with some hands where we open up heavy extenders, we can go into this as well. And then Nightmare Unicorn for the Masquerade combo and just good generic removal. One long gear suit, you just need one. This is just great for, you know, longer games. And the final card is the Underworld Goddess. So this does come up sometimes. It is uh, it is a light, so you have to be careful uh, to summon it while you have a, uh, before you activate your Orcus effect. So uh, I usually summon this if I have crackdowns, right? You know, I crack down their board. And then uh, I have uh, other monsters on the field, so I can just use this. But yeah, guys, so again, that's my trap uh, Orcus list. So here, I'm just going to show you guys a quick a uh, quick view of, like, let's say, or let's just do a quick, quick test hand with just uh, with, with one card. So let's just do Foolish Burial Goods. And uh, let's just do a bunch of traps. So let's just whatever, right? Okay. So this is how it's gonna go and play out. Okay. So you have these, you have these cards in your hand, right? You have uh, one starter and a trap. You're going first. Okay. You activate foolish barrel goods. Oops, <laughs> that's my actor deck. Activate foolish barrel goods. You send the orcish crescendo into the graveyard. I'm gonna banish it. To uh, search out your starters, right? Because you're only playing one starter, and that is your uh... where is it? Okay, the gear suit. Okay, so now we have our starter in our hand. Okay, normal summon, you dump first. So we're gonna dump the Orcus Nightmare. 
Then we activate the second effect. If you control uh, no monsters on the field, besides this card, you know we can special summon tokens. Use our token, Link Karibo. Sorry, Link Karibo. Okay, now we have two effect monsters can go into Galatea. Okay. Now we use Nightmare's effect, Banish for cost. So just standard, you know, Orcus combo. And banish, the special summon this. Always make a good habit to put it in the... Right, so this this is going to be pointed to this, and this is going to be pointed to that, you know, for Galatea. Just a good habit. And then use Galatea's effect, right? Put this back into the deck. And now this is what I'm talking about. So, if I opened up Orcus Crescendo in the hand, I can go for I can go for Orchestrated Return because I already have a Crescendo. So I could use Orchestrated Return, you know, do that, draw into two more traps, right? Or you know, draw cards, whatever. If I if I didn't, you know, I search out the uh, Crescendo instead. Okay. I still have the nightmare. And then I just set, 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 right? I, I have all these traps to trade. And then uh, if I if I really wanted to, I could go into Dingirsu, right? Just to set up the, the graveyard. Dingirsu, use this effect to destroy the token, and then go into another Galatea. And then that and then that's my board. If you, if you wanted to take out the token, right? So now on their turn, right, you, you have Galatea uh, on the first effect or whatever. Use Orcus Crescendo, that's the Omni Negate. Okay, use all your traps to trade one for one, right? That's the whole point of this deck. You're just trying to trade uh, on, the, on the field turn one in order to stabilize the board and then just grind it out from there because that's what Orcus does best, right? I do all that, use all my traps, this is gone, whatever. Okay, turn two. Falling turn, I draw a card, whatever. Okay. The great thing, I have a crescendo in the grave. Where, where is it? Okay, there. I have a follow up. We do the same thing again. Search out the Mech Knight, Orcus, Girsu. This is what uh, I like about this, uh, this version that I'm doing. We have a follow up, do the whole thing again. We have a full grave. We can send skeleton instead. You know, we can search it out. And then, you know, we do Galatea's effect again, we search out another return, we draw two more, blah, 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 blah. Right, so that's how the deck plays, and that's how I intended this build to work out. As, uh, and yeah. If you guys have any questions, let me know. But yeah, that's my Trap Orchest. Uh, if you guys like this type of deck profile, let me know, I'll do more of these quicker ones. Well, not really quick, but like, kind of just one take. And yeah. Hope you guys enjoy your day, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.